Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So welcome to part two of this gift guide series. Now this one is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have a lot more pictures compared to um, my kids gift guide because I have most of my kids' gifts in. I do not have the majority of my adult gifts, but I want to hop on here and I want to show you guys what I got. So let's get on into the video. what this is I was like a hoe down I don't know it's so awkward I am awkward my hands are awkward we're just gonna put them in my lap all right guys so um, this is a warning to all friends and family if you are watching this exit out of the video because you are going to spoil the fun I have all of my friends and family's gifts here and I do not want to spoil any of the fun but <laughs> I also have Riker in the background, so if you hear any little screams, that would be him. Okay, so let's hop into the very first gifts, um, and I don't have them on me, but um, one of my favorite things to get, I don't like to just give gift cards. Um, for my neighbors this year, I am giving them a gift card to um, one of the restaurants here, um, local to Fargo Moorhead. Um, so just like one of the really cool popular taverns or um, like bar and grills, things like that. Um, I will typically get that for my neighbors just as a thank you, you know, throughout the year they've watched the house for us or whatever it may be. Um, I love giving gifts like that to my neighbors, just like quick gift cards, um, because a little bit can go a long ways too. Even a $10 gift card to your neighbors just to say, hey, I'm thinking of you, um, or even just some cookies is a great way to show that you are thinking of them and that you appreciate them and you love them. So anyways, that is one of my favorite things to do for my neighbors or um, just like miscellaneous people in my life. So. Um, I will do that a lot of times for like people at work, um, the mailman, things like that. So kind of rolling off of that same um, idea is I like to get um, our daycare provider a gift every single year. Um, my daycare provider is actually a family member of mine as well. So I just, I like to go the extra mile for her a little bit, get, get her something that's just for her um, and just, I feel like that's what gifts are all about for me. Sometimes it's hard to shop for people um, if you don't know what they need. So if you don't know what they need, I will go with something that would be just an absolute treat for somebody. So like a really nice soft fuzzy blanket or um, some nice candles or um, like a Starbucks gift card. If you know that they like um, coffee, you can do like a cute tumbler with um, a, like a Starbucks gift card inside. That's a really good one. Or like a tumbler with a Target gift card inside. Um, that's probably what I will do for my daycare provider this year. It's just like a really cute tumbler um, where she can keep like water or whatever it may be because she's running around like a chicken with her head cut off. Um, so maybe like tea or lemonade or water and then have like a nice gift card in there to Target because who can't use a gift card to Target? it um, for themselves whether it be just like a little you know extra something there's you can find anything at Target so that's just like one of my go-to's but um, that is one of my favorite things to do with my family members I a lot of times like to do like baskets so I will do like a themed basket for my brother and sister-in-law this year I was going to do like a themed like date night basket so I was going to have like a gift card to their favorite bar a gift card to their favorite restaurant um, and then like have it like all kind of like laid out and have like some fancy wine glasses in case they wanted to go back home um, so that's a really good idea um, really fun idea as well um, I ultimately decided to go with um, like a really fun gift card for them to their favorite restaurant um, and then I got them a couple of other things as well um, you cannot tell what this is just by looking at it but I got them a pot and pan organizer um, for their cupboards because everybody's cupboards are like overflowing with pots and pans and these are just sometimes things that you do not think of um, especially like right after you get married and you're starting out um, that's exactly what my brother and sister-in-law are doing they've been living together for a while but it's just some of these things go on the back burner and you don't think of buying for yourself um, but is kind of a, like a cool useful gift so um, I'll have a picture of that here for you guys showing you what that looks like 
Um, now the next thing that I got for them, they currently live in an apartment and my mother-in-law got me something pretty much identical last year for, I think it was my birthday or Christmas or something like that. My mother-in-law is good at giving super useful gifts. Um, I think the one that she got me came from Sam's Club, but this one comes from Amazon. Like I said, they live in an apartment. This is like a, um, again, picture will be right here. Um, this is a um, grocery organizer. This is something that can sit in the trunk of your vehicle or in the back of your vehicle. And there's like an insulated portion for cold groceries. And then there's also like several um, sections for like regular groceries. But instead of them making several trips up and down the stairs to get their groceries um, you can actually put all of it in here it is a little bit heavy but my my brother's a big guy he's got some muscles on him um, you can put everything all into one um, container and just like carry it up like this all at the same time for me this is awesome because I have so many flights of stairs in my house so I use this all the time when I go grocery shopping this is especially useful for like Sam's Club and Costco hauls because as you guys know, you don't have, there's no like grocery bags there. And even if you bring your own reusable bags, it can be a lot because the items at Costco and Sam's are so large because you're buying in bulk. This is what I use um, all the time in my Costco hauls um, that I have here on my channel. So, so if you don't buy this as a gift for somebody, maybe snatch it up for yourself because it is the bomb. Just wanted to mention really quick too that everything that I am talking about in this video will be linked down below for you. The majority of this can be found on Amazon. So if you are a last minute shopper like I am, you can really, you're so loud. Yeah. <laughs> So if you're a last minute shopper like I am, you can get onto Amazon Prime and have it here before the 20th of December. Um, I am celebrating Christmas this next weekend, so it was important for me to have all of my gifts here before next weekend. But if you're not celebrating until the 24th and 25th, well, you're in luck because almost everything will deliver before um, Monday the 23rd. I think, yeah, Monday the 23rd. The next thing that I got, um, I do not have here yet. This item has taken the longest to come. The longest as in like five days. It wasn't very long. I think all in all, I ordered it last Tuesday and it will be here on Monday. Um, but I will have a picture here for you guys. I got my sister-in-law and soon-to-be brother-in-law um, a really nice um, like cheese board set from Pottery Barn with some nice cheese knives. Um, this I also had monogrammed for them and I just feel like again like if you have everything that you need because once you get to a certain age you kind of have everything that you need but they're getting married next year and they're going to be buying their first house soon and I just thought it would be nice to have some stuff for entertaining. If they're anything like me, I when I first bought my house or when Mike and I first moved into our first house, we had people over all the time. I still have people over all the time. I'm constantly hosting and I love it. And I love all of my serving trays, all of my cheese board sets, everything like that. And this is a really big one. It's like a giant, it's like probably like this big. Um, and it's like marble with like black acacia wood. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so it's, it looks really nice and you can do like a really nice, like, like a charcuterie tray even. I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm not very good at pronouncing things, but you can have like your wine and your cheese and be entertaining some friends over for the evening, watching a movie or whatever it may be. But I just like to present things super nicely and I have a feeling that they will really appreciate um, something like this because um, they didn't do, there wasn't like a big engagement party, there wasn't, um, there's not going to be like gifts at their wedding. They're just requesting money as gifts um, at their wedding. So I thought this would be fun to get them something that's kind of like a wedding gift, um, but would also be, it's just a nice treat. I feel like anything from Pottery Barn is a nice gift because Pottery Barn is a little bit more expensive and it's just personally, like I don't shop, I don't ever shop at Pottery Barn. I try to find dupes and cheaper things. Um, because it is so expensive um, so but as a gift I feel like it's a just a really good place to go because it's a treat right it's a treat for somebody you get something from Pottery Barn you go wow thank you so much because 
I never treat myself to Pottery Barn and I love Pottery Barn. So anyways, that's that's kind of my advice too for giving gifts is you want to make sure that it's like a big treat for that person. Um, maybe something that they wouldn't necessarily get for themselves, um, but something that they would really enjoy. So anyways, that's what I got my brother and, or my soon to be brother-in-law and my sister-in-law um, and kind of moving on that same track um, for my other sister-in-law, I got her, now this is like a, just a staple great gift this could be for like your parents um, this could be for uh, like your sister your brother whoever um, in your family this is great for any family member moms dads grandmas grandpas um, sisters brothers um, the reason why I think this is such a great gift um, and actually not just the instant pot itself um, but also like crock pots or just kitchen gadgets in general air fryers um, like I know my um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, um, we like to get them kitchen gadgets a lot of the time because like they don't necessarily um, buy this stuff for themselves, but it's a really cool gift. Um, everybody that I know has an instant pot and it is the most useful thing on the planet, but you know what? I don't even have one. I did ask for one for Christmas, but this is what I got my sister-in-law. Um, she had it on her Christmas list, and it does um, it does so much in it. You can do it's like a power cooker, power cooker. It's a pressure cooker. Um, it can be a crock pot, so like a slow cook. You can do you can saute in there. Um, I believe you can also do rice. Yep, you can do rice um, porridge. And you can even steam or do yogurt. Um, I heard steamed dumplings are really good in here, but this is kind of like your all-in-one kitchen gadget as far as like um, like a slow cooker, pressure cooker. Um, I also had some friends tell me that they can cook a, like a pot roast from frozen in an hour and a half, and it's like fall apart, amazing. Like they've cooked it for eight plus hours. So this is definitely one of my staple gifts um, for your relatives and this one was on sale um, this was originally $90 $80 and I got it on sale for $59.99 at Target the other day um, super great deal I'll leave this link down below for Amazon and Target if you are a Target red card holder you can get two-day shipping still um, and then of course if you're an Amazon Prime holder you can get the two-day um, Amazon Prime shipping but I believe they are just about the same price on um, both of the um, websites next thing that I got um, was actually it's a cologne and that is what I got my father-in-law this year I feel like this year I more so did like um, like gift gifts for my um for my husband's side of the family because i've just i've gotten my in-laws um kitchen gadgets for the past for the past couple years so i wanted to get them just something to treat them they're such good people i love them so much and I don't feel like they treat themselves enough, so I just wanted to get them something really nice that was just for them, um, and not like serveware and just all of everything that I get them. I feel like they've always turned around and um, like used to serve others, which I think is amazing. They're just such good people. Um, but this year, I got my father-in-law got him some Aquadigio because it's just a really good staple men's cologne. I know that my sister-in-law has gotten it for him in the past and he loves it. Um, but he told Mike, he goes, if I have to use that Axe body spray one more time, I'm going to puke. <laughs> so, so I got him some really, really nice cologne. Now my mother-in-law, I kind of went with the same theme. I had a few different ideas and I bounced them off my sister's and sister-in-laws both of them kind of bounce my ideas off of them. I ultimately decided to get my mother-in-law um, the Sephora Favorites perfume sampler. Um, this this like sampler um, is $70 and it comes with all of this year's most popular perfume favorites, like everything that's been their top sellers for the year. Um, there is a sample of each one. So there's 13 perfume samples and then you choose the, your favorite one and then there's a voucher inside of here for you to go back to Sephora and get a full size of your favorite sample inside of this box. So if you're anything like me, I get really nervous. I love picking out colognes and perfumes and if I know exactly what they like, I'll get that. But um, if you're not quite sure what perfume your the lady in your life is going to like this is perfect because then they can sample them all themselves and then bring it in to um with that voucher to get their favorite one um like i said this was 70 dollars, but the retail value is 113 um 
with all of the little samples and like some of these bottle sizes or some of the perfumes in here are quite expensive. Um, personally, some of my favorite, personally, some of my favorite ones in here are the um, Marc Jacobs, the um, Aqua de Joie for <laughs> women, which is, is the Aqua de Gio like woman scent. Um, and then the Dolce Gabbana light blue. Dolce Gabbana light blue is like my go-to. Um, I think this is the Prada candy. I'm not totally sure, but this is also a really good one. Um, yeah. And then I would say, uh, yeah, those have got to be my favorite ones in this particular box. But, um, I went and I picked this up today and it's super cute and sparkly. And I just think is a really good, um, like a splurge gift for, um, for a lady in your life. Like I said, I got this one for my mother-in-law. All right. Staying on the same track for makeup and things like that. Um, I got my little sister, um, I got her a galaxy rose um that's what she wanted was a galaxy rose and that wasn't wasn't very much so i got her that and then um i went to sephora today and i got her the gingerbread extra spicy palette by Too faced this smells amazing <laughs> i like opened the box and i was like oh it smells legit like a gingerbread man um and the colors are amazing i am just going to open it up really quick so i can show you guys um one of my favorite things to receive is like really nice makeup because um, a lot of times I put myself on the back burner. I do try to buy myself some nicer eyeshadows, um, things like that, but a lot of times I just don't. So um, this is what the palette looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the colors in there are warm and spicy and there's some glittery, shimmery tones as well and the pigment is amazing. Um, if you actually look at the reviews for this on Ulta and Sephora, the reviews are amazing. It has almost five stars. So, um, and then actually I've, I've heard the, about this, the gingerbread palette from Too Faced. I think it's been out for a while, but, um, I've heard a lot of really good things from some beauty gurus on YouTube as well, because, um, during the holiday season, they always have some really good suggestions. And this is what I picked up for my little sister in there. Kaya loved Sephora, by the way, you guys, I brought her with me today. I'll leave a link up here. Um, we, I vlogged when I was in there and I put some like glittery eyeshadow on her. She was in heaven. She just was looking around. She's like, look at all the glittery stuff, mom. Like she loved it. So it was really cute. Anyway, all right, so the last thing that I got um, that I have like physically here with me is this New Loom rug. Um, this is a faux cowhide rug that my um, that I got for my sister and um, her boyfriend. They're going to be moving into their own apartment this next year, so I wanted to get them um, just something really cool. She has a very similar taste, like like industrial, like chicy type of modern farmhouse taste, like I do. Um, and this was about ninety two dollars on the um, on Rugs USA. That's where I get all of my rugs in my house as well. Um, is off of Rugs USA, and most of the brand is New Loom. It's a great brand. It's a sturdy brand. All of my rugs have held up super well. Um, my rugs are all um, pure wool rugs, and they've held up really well. So I highly recommend using Rugs USA um, for any of your rug needs, um, but also is a really cool gift for somebody because sometimes they people just don't want to like splurge on things like that so again with the this is a treat for somebody and um this is definitely a fun treat to get for someone too um especially if they like your um taste and design and things like that so anyways you think so are you done with mommy recording you've been so patient i have a little guest yes yeah, someone wasn't happy um i just wanted to add a couple more ideas yeah what's that what's that what's that He's so cute. I just wanted to add a couple of more little ideas um, for the adults in your life. Um, another thing that I really like to do is get like mittens, gloves, especially around here. Um, I live in Minnesota and it's super, super cold right now. I think today air temp was like negative 21 degrees Fahrenheit. So for Mike's aunt, I actually got her um, like the fingerless gloves, like the ones where there's like a flip cap on there. Um, I heard that she needs a good pair of gloves, but she likes to have her dexterity still. Um, so that's a really nice um, gift to get for somebody, just like a little something. Um, so I got those gloves. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have coming in the mail for like just miscellaneous small things. Um, 
Another thing I like to do is give out, um, if I know um, somebody has like a favorite grocery store, um, I like to do um, like Sam's Club, um, etc., things like that, uh, Costco um, gift cards, and then um, some other things. So if you're doing like a white elephant exchange or um, like a secret Santa, um, Google Homes are really good if you have like a $25 budget because you can get those on sale. Um, you can get like the Amazon like Echo Dot um, for like right around $25. What else you, can you get? Like you can get like Snuggies. That's another really good idea. Or um, Mike and I this year got um, a really nice blanket. I feel like you can never go wrong with blankets. So I got um, a blanket for the Secret Santa gift exchange that we went to and we got a Yeti mug. Um, the Yeti mug is like was hands down like one of the top wanted items. It was traded so many times like people were always stealing it. Um, and you can get that for right around $25 too. Um, the last thing I want to mention is, so for my parents this year, we wanted to do um, something special for them. They're really hard to shop for. My parents are really hard to shop for, um, and we've been wanting to give them one of our furniture pieces for a while. So if you guys don't know, we like make furniture as a hobby on the side after work. Um, and we are going to be doing a specialized custom um, sliding door like sliding barn door media center for them. So that is what we're making them. We'll have that finished up probably by Wednesday. So stay tuned in my vlogs to see what that looks like once we finish up. All right, you guys, so the last thing that I wanted to add to this adult gift guide, this one just came in the mail last minute, so I wanted to add it. This is a Mapiful map. Um, this is, this could be a really special gift for um, an adult in your life, um, whether it be like a sister, um, parents, brother, aunts and uncle, grandma and grandpa, and you can do like somewhere where like they first met, where they got married, their hometown, um, just somewhere like really near and dear to their heart. So Mapiful will send you your map in a really nice um, like cylinder and it comes like this. So personally my Mapiful I did of Moorhead. Um, now this is where my husband and I went to high school together. This is where we met. Um, it comes in a nice rolled up, it's a very thick um, piece of paper and you can get it framed. Um, I chose to get, um, there's like little wood, like there's like little wood hangers that you can get for these as well. So they hang up on the wall with like twine. Um, there's so many different things that you can do with your Mapiful maps. But like I said, we chose to do Moorhead because that is where we are from. Um, and it is just really near and dear to our hearts. And I think this would be a really sweet gift for like my parents to get them like a map of the place that they met um, in northern Minnesota, I think it would just be so sweet and it's so special and you can have it up on your wall and I just think it's so cute. It like goes perfectly with like an industrial theme or like a modern farmhouse theme um, and you can hang it and frame it any way that you want. But um, Mapiful, I do have a code for you guys down below and a link um, if you want to go and order your own Mapiful map. I just think this is the sweetest, most sentimental gift that you could possibly get somebody. I definitely will be hanging this on my wall and feature it somewhere where everybody can know where Mike and I are from. And you know, every time that we look at it, we can be reminded of um, where we met and where our life started together. But that is what I got my adult side of the family for this year. I hope I gave you guys some good ideas and remember what the true meaning of Christmas is. And that is just to hang out and be together, be all under the same roof. Or even if you're by yourself, just throwing on a little bit of Christmas music and being appreciative, even of the little things that you have in your life. Be appreciative of the bowl of soup that you have in front of you, the roof over your head, the slippers on your feet, the blanket that's on your lap. It's all about being grateful this time of year. And honestly, I this is the first year that I've really been able to get good gifts for my family, really expensive, nice, good gifts for my family. This isn't something that I've been able to do before. And for me, I love giving gifts, gifts, giving the gift, a, Feel like it's more exciting than receiving gifts and not that we don't appreciate receiving gifts but I love to see the look on people's faces um, when they open their um, presents especially if it's something that they 
wouldn't necessarily um, buy for themselves and treat for themselves because it just was out of their budget or you know they're putting other people first um, their family first their kids first I just love it I love giving back and I love to serve others if you will um, and that's also why I like hosting Christmas is because I just like to go that extra little mile I like to put like chocolates on, on a tray in their bed in the guest room and I like to put like little treats inside the bathroom or like this year I got like really yummy hand soap and like poopery just just little things that give back to the people that you love that show them that you love them you appreciate them and if anything if you can't afford anything a hug or a smile or a smooch on the cheek can go a long ways. Like I said, the holiday season is all about celebrating yourself, your family, your successes, Christ, and I, again, I am a Christian, so that is what we celebrate during Christmas time is um, the birth of Jesus Christ. And I, I just get really overwhelmed. I just love having my family all, all under one roof, and I'm gonna start crying because I miss them. My, my family lives far away, so I'm really excited um, to not only celebrate with my family, but also with my husband's side of the family. I am so blessed to call them my family because they're the sweetest human beings in the world, and I got married into a really good group of people. So anyway, all right. I went on to a tangent in both of these gift guides, but Christmas is just a very, very near and dear and important um, time for me and can be very fragile for a lot of those around us. So um, just treat everybody like your family, be kind to everybody and show everybody love, spread the love, be contagious, Be make the love contagious, okay? All right, we're good, we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me today, I got kind of serious on you. Um, like I said, Christmas is a 